Ase jina gani nitakuita witike Ase mwendo gani nitakubeba uridhike Mapenzi ataki maneno Yanataka matendo Njona miniku pependo Pendo bila maskendo Wajui kitu nimekuambia na ntasema na ntasema mara a thousand, a million times. Kwamba music ni kama business nyingine ya yote. Music inaitaji do. Okay. Kuna event organizer moja asha yambia msani wapa bungumati. Cheki, endo utengeneze jina kama msani wako, msani fulani. Mimi wasi work na watu wajatengeneza jina. Yo magwiji hali vipi sana another day and time you are here to kick it and kill it kama kawa kama dawa kama tabia yetu show ni gwiji vibes na tuko hapa kusababisha kwa ubaya ama vipi na i'm your host boss boy creation maze hey watu nawapiga pale shukran vile mnaendelea kufanya ile kama mambo alafu pia eh, subscription maze ah me improve mmefanya vizuri sana na kaa hujapiga subscription subscription gongele kengele kidogo niangushe <laughs> Gongele kengele pale, e, share, pigia share pale, achia comment, ah, unafanya gwiji vibes inakuwa ya magwiji, banana tuna grow. Unajua siti kikuwa magwiji pia wepale homu na inakunaisi mbaya sana, ama vipi. Na leo, ndani ya mjengo ni kuna jama mzito wa pawa, e, uja mama ze. <laughs> Atisi mtu wa pawa, likise wa pawa na fikira KPLC. Naza nipigia simu ni ande nitatue shida za stima nyumbani buwana na mimi sijui. Oh, shida, shida. So ujama eh, sijui nitafanya nini Wacha nisebe first encounter maze Tulipatana na ujama sijui tulikuwa Ntasema lini Nikitambo kiasi Sometimes by kubwana nini hey, Mekuwa chitambo sana eh, So ujama lipatana ya likuwa MC Likuwa MC pale kanisani Wana tumekuja pale Unajua mi likuwa danza <laughs> eh, Kazi ya kanisa pale Unajua danza na MC mki, mkipatana Lazima kuna kwa gana kale ah, Kakemistry kana ingia fresh sana So nikapatana ujama nika chikia na fanya kazi ingine Safi sana nika link na yeki dogo Story story Then siku zimeenda zimeenda vitu zimekuwa moba Takona tupigia story moja mbili tatu na sitaki kubonga sana this guy ni msanisa hai eh hey, yo break ni mbovu this guy ni msanisa hai eh, anafanya design kuna design flani anafanya atakua tunambia, anatuambia na sitaki kubonga mbovu vitu mbovu atakua natuambia ye mwenyewe ama vipi MC Nash ndiyo guiji kwenye show leo karibu bana Shukran sana bro, ina kuwaje kaka. Fresh sana, hali vipi kwako? Uh, I'm good, ni kopua sana, tunashukuru mungu each and every day. Tukia mkwa tunasema, yeah, God is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, hey, God is good. Bado ni mtu wakanisa ama vipi? I'm a believer, I'm a believer. I don't believe in religion, but I'm a believer. I believe in God. Okay. Yeah, but I don't believe in religion. Yeah. Believe in God? Yeah, believe in God. A classic kabisa. Eh, hey, MC Nash. Yeah. Pale home ambia magwiji, we ni nani, unafanya nini na nini na nini, unajua, unajua se wenge wanakujua, but wale wanya wakujui, ebu wachapie, moja mbili tatu, we nani. Right, first of all, I've heard you say, at Squeezy Mimi ni msani, I've been an artist ever since I was born. Okay. Art has been part of me and I uh, appreciate. I'm an artist, I sing, I am my stylist, I am uh, an MC, I'm a creative, uh, in short, nafanya performing art, so I am a, an artist. And art is part of me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you have a bird in your home? I'm going to go to the house. Now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Long ago, long ago. But, ah, no, no, no. I remember recording my very first track uh, in 2014. I'm going to go to Nairobi. So that's when I recorded my very first track. Nilianza kama msani tu wa kuimba until italanta ya UMC kakuja along the road. Kabidi ni mechanga mkia and inalipa. Inaleta kakitu kwa meza. Kama unalipa bill, unalipa rent, 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 unalipa rent
So unamaanisha ni pesa ya UMC ndio ilifanya ukaacha mziki ama ilikuwaaje? Sisi sema pesa ilifanya nikaacha mziki. Ah uh, naweza sema ni ilikuwa hard ku nini ku, ku balance zote mbili okay. until I decided ku focus sana kwa UMC because hiyo ilianza ku pay haraka. Na unajua music is like any other business. Yeah, music yeah, yeah. inataka pia ume invest kwa music and uh, yeah. inahitaji a lot, inahitaji time, inahitaji sacrifice. Yeah, so kitu ilifanya nikamwaacha niache music kando, ni jaribu ni push kama MC kwanza alafu nitachukua music tena niendelee and even ndo ili work. Yeah. So ilikuwaaje mazee ulianzia wapi ndio kagundua ma... ah sasa sasa hii naweza MC bana the first time ulishika mic ukagundua ah wacha sasa ni msa, u, mziki itulie kidogo wacha nishike UMC uh, there's a time there's a time nilikuwa msekanisa sana and i remember at i remember being a praise and worship leader sometime uh. back <laughs> one thing people don't know about me uh, kumbuka kuna time nilikuwa praise and worship leader so kuna siku nilisimama nikitoa ushuhuda ile tu unachachisha cha sisi ni mayouth na kuchachisha tu kidogo and was all called like after church oh, you're a good mc you are a good mc you are a good mc then event yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa wedo mimi ku mc like sasa kama mc ilikuwa wedding yeah hii hapo ndo nilianza kupata my referrals kumbe niko fit na nikaja okay okay hii pesa tamu pesa ya mc tamu eh na hivyo ndo tuliendelea kama mc hadi venye nilifanya tena track yangu nyingine like that okay like that yeah hey, track ambayo ilisumbua kusumbua watu tukapiga bada is hiyo ndio my favorite song kwako bana ah yeah, uh, bana kauja check hiyo mziki maze fika pale hivyo bana youtube yake bana uta check hiyo hiyo uh, mziki bana inaguza maze so uh, unaja the last time nimesema like vile nimeambia wase first encounter uh, ilikuwa kwa church eh hey. so ulikuwa mc wa gospel ama ilikuwa tu all all round way first of all uh nimekuambia tu first time believer and i believe wakati god anapatia mse talent achague eti huyu acha nimpatie talent ya secular au nimpatie talent ya gospel god anapatia anga mse talent akijua hii talent nampatia imle im, im so ni wewe uchague utachagua unataka kufanya nini talent yako so mimi si kujilimit eti maybe me ama gospel mc ama secular mc peke no yeah Ah iko sawa sana. Na ilifika point gani ukasema wacha sasa UMC relax kidogo. By the way wacha UMC ama bado? I'm about to hang boots sasa. I remember sometime kuna siku nilishare kwa social media nikasema nataka ku hang boots and uh, nataka ku hang boots. But the main sana, reason ni gani? Uh, main reason ni I just want to I now want to work on myself MC Nash as a musician nataka sasa kujipush as a musician nataka ni kuwe serious na music and uh, i hope i hope you guys mniombe by the way mniombe <laughs> nikijiombea pia unajua maombi yangu peke yangu haiezi so na na, na, na make decision yenye najua maybe itaudi wengine wengine itawafurahisha na ni decision yenye ni, ni decision ngumu pia siko sure kama mali naenda maybe ita ita itazama tunda haraka una get so kitu mimi naweza sema si eti nimequit UMC but nita hang boot ku hang boot inamaanisha kwamba sija naweza zitoa kwa hanga utakuja kuzitoa kwa hanga kwani naweza toa tena ni vibe so uh, ni decision me make and i feel like ni decision right okay okay so ilifika point gani mazee ndio ukasema ah wacha sasa hii UMC juu imeshika shika wacha wacha nijaribu kwa mziki kidogo maze ndio ukakuja ukaachilia pale like that let me tell you about my producer baba beats i remember mimi nikipatana na baba beats au nilikuwa msanii alinijua kama msanii na mc but watu wengi hawakujua kama mimi ni msa msanii but baba beats alikuwa ananiambia kwanza kuna siku aliniambia studio tulikuwa tunafanya ngoma mimi na Jubal kama bado anafanya dynamic records ile ya Steve K okay. ile tunafanya ngoma baba beats akaniambia tu live live nash wewe hauwezi imba Eh hey, hauwezi imba na tangu hiyo siku najua ni aje. Tangu hiyo siku siku wai shughulika tena eti nifanye music sijui nini nini nilifocus kwa vitu vingine. Nikasema ah. Wacha music ikae. Sasa 2000 I think 20. Baba bitch alipigia simu akaniambia Nash kitu 6 jioni. Ni aje uko wapi? Ngambia mimi niko tu town kwa shughuli ati. Leo nataka tufanye project. Like, Baba bitch si wewe ndio nikataza mimi siezi imba my guy. Uli nikataza mimi siezi imba. Then it happened aje tena niambia tufanye project. Akaniambia hiyo eh kam studio nikaenda studio saa 3 usiku hiyo track tulifanya usiku 
na ndio tulifanya hiyo ngoma like that ndio ngoma sasa ilinirudisha game kama msanii pia tena yeah maza unajua unajua umesifika huko nje kama king of vocals hizi 039 unajua wasoe wasani nasikia kuna radio wasani wanaogopa kupiga collab na wewe juu vocali unawaosha mbaya kuna msanii mmoja sitaki kumtaja kuna time umemuosha mpaka wase wase wao wanasikiza hivi ngoma wanasema ah yeah. MC Nasha alio show jamaa bana sisi tunasikia tu MC Nasha tusiki mtu kwa hii ngoma uh -huh. eh, so ilikuwaaje maze like that vile ilipokelewa ndio ilikufanya ukaingia deep into music kama kulikuwaaje reception ya wase ni moja kati ya vitu ambazo zilichangia mimi kufu kwa serious tena na music uh, reception ya wase ni li feel wase wame wame ni receive si ku expect ilikuwa overwhelming and uh, kitu mimi naweza sema tu ni kwamba na feel niko humble sana you guys allowing my music into your hearts it's yeah. such a humbling experience and i appreciate you guys you're the reason why each and every day na try kitu inafanya mimi stream music kila siku ni i'm a fan of good music not just music ndio maana mimi nataka nikipati niki release music na release music yenye it attach hata mse juu tuna communicate na audience yangu through music I'm an artist na mi, msanii kio cha jamii. So mi u communicate na audience yangu kupitia music. That's why I take time niandike good music then. Yeah. Safi sana magwiji pale home tunaendelea na Gwiji Vibes. Unajua Gwiji Vibes inaletwa kwako na 95 Studio. Eh ukitaka audio safi, ukitaka video safi pika, fika hapa 95 Studio. Eh 95 Studio iko wapi? 95 Studio iko opposite Duma Center. Ukicheki pale kuna building flani hapo ukiangalia on top, utacheki kuna bana moja safi pale. Fika hapo hivyo. Ai utaweza kufanyia huduma zingine classic ama piga ile namba yenye unacheki pale kwa screen utapata pale kuna producer Dante kuna producer Havok watakufanyia audio zingine classic sana ama vipi yeah 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 MC okay Nash, my name. yeah mc nash tumekuwa tunaongelea about muziki yako si ndio yeah. na kumekuwa na story pale ulikuwa unatuambia to expect album yeah, kuna album inakuja nini after umetoa ngoma moja mbili tatu hivi ukatuambia next we are working on your album hebu tuambie na kuwaje na hiyo album End of Love will if I release you 2021 December but due to unavoidable circumstances mbwembwe zilikuwa nyingi town bwana shere 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 party 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 so tukamwa to postpone paka uh, April ambapo April venye ilifika tulibiwa studio kitu watu hawajaijua baba beats studio zilibiwa kila kitu na tu, hatuna backup hiyo ni ni hatuna data hizo hizo ngoma so tulianza upya tena from scratch na we almost done kwa karibu 75% done na tutaka communicate official date ya release ya hiyo album na niko sure itakuwa album fit na, na, na I believe my fans what I receive fit ju yeah niko sure watu what I receive tunakuamini ya we ni gwiji maze so ebu what to, what what should people expect pale kutoka kwa album yako since eh, since we wanze mziki maze unatoanga zile ngoma zinaguzwa wase unajua ngoma zako mse ambiwe ati ah piga hii ngoma challenge fanya hii kitu nini mse mwenyewe mwenyewe <laughs> ndona <laughs> eh, mwelekezi wangu pale dance nyuma anasema ati mziki mc nash uambiwi tazama tazama <laughs> mwenyewe so wase expect nini maze One thing uh mimi MC Nash as an artist this one thing chenye nilijiambia na nikaji promise I will always sing for that beautiful lady out there I will always sing for that amazing woman out there Ah ah kwanza kabla tuendelee mbali hebu tupatie kwa tu vocals kiasi unajua na kuanga king of vocals tuchapie vocally tu kidogo ya like that like that Ase jina gani nitakuita witike Ase mwendo gani nitakubeba uridhike mapenzi yataki maneno yanataka matendo njo nami nikupependo pendo bila maskendo <laughs> moto 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 sana mmesikia clean vocali eh, ija pita ijachezo kwa vifaranga hakuna kifaranga ya kompyuta imefinywa pale data za japoja kitu data za japoja kitu data data kitu sauti safi ndio hiyo ndio maana wamase tunakubali issue ni ya magwiji umesikia sauti yenyewe ni ya gwiji so ulikuwa unatuambia pale kwa album we watu wase expect nini good music like i told you before i'm a fan of good music so what to expect nothing but good music and uh, by the way kuna collaborations kuna yeah collaborations. Yuzo, yuzo ndio ulikuwa nataka tuambie sasa uh, kuna collaborations kuna surprise artists kama watatu big artists hapa Kenya alafu uh, ningependa tu tena kutaja 
baadhi tia wasani ambao wame happen kutokia kwa hiyo album Fanya hivyo The Westland Prince, The Scandalous Prince, Jubala Hey, no ma sana, unajua sa, so nyinyo wa Willi Hiyo by the end yongo mwa sota expect sana Cause nyinyo wa Willi, nyinyo ma, ma king of vocals E039 Hiyo ndi yongo mwa wazewa, oto tangoja sana, unajua ni kitu moto Jubala The Western Prince of course Don Meluna, okay. Don Meluna, <laughs> Meluna the Don. Um, round two, round two. Uh, it's gonna, Amini. it's gonna be. Uh-huh. As soon as I wake up, but it was something good. I believe. Na mi ni ita kwa kufiti. Basil Vishindo ni ita manisa na kwa album. Na bado tunge na management yake kesi na juako guy. Ako CF. Uh, ako assign danta CF. So. Bado tuongea na management yake tuona itakuwaje unajua lazima tufuate kila kitu venye nafa yeah so basil vishindo kwa nataka pia na ikesa kwa hiyo album yeah na wasanii wengine pia safi sana na baada ni nani nani mwingine ungetamani kufanya na yeye mziki hata ungetamani at least hata kasi kwa album ni nani but the big artist mwenye ungetamani kufanya na yeye collab 254 ama bungoma ama let's say 254 country wide 254 there's this artist mwenye i feel like um say na kwanga underrated na i believe i believe i believe natamani sana pia kwa kwa hiyo album na vitu zikienda venye tunatarajia god akifungua milango atatokea kwa hiyo album freak boss kelechi huyo ni gwiji bwana huyo ni king yeah kelechi africana vitu zikienda vizuri sana naona anaweza tokea kwa hiyo album tukiomba Mungu management yake tuongee vitu ziende vizuri okay. so nimesema album iko 75% done yeah, yeah. so the remaining 25% ni hao wasani wenye bado atujamalizana atujamaliza kuongea nao bado tuko kwenye ya, mawasiliano nao maongezi nao so, so. management yake ya yeah. Yo magwiji ndio hivyo hivyo tunaendelea pale na MC Nash na Mazee hii album ikitokea hapa hapa Gwiji vibes tutakuwa na chambua muziki baada ya mwingine one by one na unajua si atu atubembelezange mse penye amelalisha tunamwambia Buda umelalisha bana penye ametunais pia tunaongea ama vipi hivyo ndio tutajengana na tutazidi kwa magwiji MC Nash yeah. eh, unajua umeingia kwa muziki na sasa unakuja kuachilia album uh, of which sick tu wenye wasee hapa 039 wamekuwa ukifanya Uh, meaning that umekuja na power ingine kwa hii industry ya 039 ya muziki na it's like we say how appreciate muziki ya 039 bungoma we say this county watu wakubali muziki yao it's like wakubali wasanii wao every time una checking hata nikipost kitu mimi upenda pale facebook wanasema ngalaingilia wasanii but mimi utakanga kuona view ya maf- watu hapo nje wanachukuliaje wanachukuliaje wasanii wao wanachukuliaje muziki zao za home unapata like they have negative minds about uh, Bungoma music industry. Mmecheki. Ni nini bana? Ni nini unakuja naya kwa hii muziki yenye at least italeta hiyo change? Unajua bro what I know uh, maybe ni research yangu mimi nimefanya na nikagundua kwamba unaona Bungoma iko na talents. Bro, Bungoma iko na talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now hatupati enough support from our fans. Siwezi sema watu support. You guys mna to support, media ina to support but I feel like haijafika percentage ambayo ina style that's what i can say but i believe ukipatia audience yako ama ukipatia ma fans kitu wanataka hautakuwa na reason ya kuforce kupanda juu just give them what they want what they deserve and uh, itakuwa rahisi and mimi nasema mimi nasema maybe just maybe unajua hakuna mtu akopa perfect but i believe i believe uh, revolution itakuja na ni sisi ndio tunaanzisha hiyo revolution that's what i can say na yeah revolution inakuja na i believe tutasupportiana sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe because unajua pia ma fans hawata to support kama sisi wasania tusupportiani sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe does it mean kuna kuna conflict between uh, nyinyi wasanii wenyewe of course kuna kwa hakuna binadamu wanakosa ga misunderstanding especially kama mna mko field moja you doing to same okay unajua boss boy like i'm an artist you are an artist and uh, then unapata yeah, yeah tukipatana tunaongea tunapiga story but Buda mimi 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 tunajiamini eti I'm perfect mimi niko fit kukuliko sita 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 chukua ile nafasi ya kuuliza bro nimeachi nataka kuachilia ingoma na hebu isikize una feel aje tufanye nini na nini kila mtu anajiona ashafika na mimi 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 ni mse mwenye niko na watu wenye kabla ni release ngoma mimi uwauliza niaje nataka ku release ngoma unaonaje turekebisha wapi na wa, na wapi so hizo hizo baadhi ya vitu ambazo zinachangia maybe tuone kama ma fans au support yeah So umesema pale eh, revolution inakuja 
eh, kwa hii industry ya mziki bungoma si ndio yeah. na ni strategist gani mzee unakuja nazo ama wasanii wana come up nazo at least mziki ya bungoma ikubalike cuz unajua say you people are so talented but my fans still bado hajakubali hiyo like i told you before unajua music is like any other business music ni like any other business music inahitaji ku invest into it lazima invest into music ndio ikupatie of course unajua hawezi invest hawezi 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 taka kitu ikulipe na uja invest ndani unaona so lazima lazima u invest ndani ndio ipay ikupatie ikupatie ikurudishe do zako na irudishe na ikupatie na faida so do, do you mean uh, i'm joke kwa mki invest kwa mziki ama nini i think i think i think sisi kama wasanii pia tumekuwa tuna invest less kwa music yetu okay tunafanya music na mimi sema okay kwenda studio record music that's 5% of what you're supposed to do the remaining 95% ni kusiliza deals na distribution companies yeah we have tuko na distribution companies nyingi zenye zitasaidia ku distribute our music so hizo na zinahitaji pesa zinahitaji vitu mob zinahitaji time dedication sacrifice so hizo ni vitu zenye maybe tumekuwa tunanyima tunanyima career zetu career yetu kama musicians hizo ni vitu zenye tumekuwa tunajinyima na ndio maana tuna feel tunafeel like ah hatufikii audience alafu seria music ni i think seria music ni just do good music just do good music yeah hivyo tu kabisa ushakafunga do good music my fans pale home wakubali ama yeah kufanya good music mtu atapenda tu utalazimisha mtu kupenda kazi yako kama ni kazi nzuri yeah so eh kumekuanga na hii issue between the unajua good music na tunajua bungoma wasanii mnatoa muziki mwingine smart sana but eh kumekuanga na issue between the artist and the DJs pale hivyo eh unapata DJ anasema mimi siwezi cheza ngoma ya nini ya msewa BG oh kumekuwa na ile tuseme like a, ka kitu tu kako tu pale tu hivyo Kenya au si hawezi patana tu ile rais ni nini shida ni nini one sita take side because I'm an artist or oh, DJ ni artist alafu pia unajua DJ ako hapo job yeah. mimi ni msanii like for example wewe ukiomba DJ nicheze Mr Flavor DJ atakuchezea Mr Flavor jo hapo job yeah. na wewe ndio unafanya alipwe okay. so mimi nikifanya good music i th- i feel like fan wetu atakuwa na reason ya kuomba music ya Mr Flavor tutakuwa tumeleta Mr Flavor nyumbani yeah, yeah. get and uh, what my DJ pia kitu kingine pia ninafanya sisi na ma DJ maybe atupatani or something DJ umekuwa event leo umeperform ako na ngoma yako tena hiyo event nyingine anataka tena umpatie ngoma zako surely ina maanisha wakati umemazia ngoma zake zako ana delete kwa mashini yake okay then ina happen wakati wakati anahitaji msaada atakuja kwangu hataenda kwa huyo msani bana boy ataenda kwa nani wase wengine so tujengane tusupportiane tukisupportiana itakuwa ni rahisi sana sisi kufika hapo because DJ ananihitaji nahitaji DJ si eti mimi sihitaji DJ ama si eti DJ anihitaji wana nihitaji na mimi na wahitaji pia na lazima tujengane ndio tu grow wote pamoja as a team yeah i think the key people when you wanaweza fanya at least fans pia wakubali mziki ya mziki zenyu ni DJs unajua DJ akicheza mziki yako hata bila bila wewe bila fan ku request bila nini upate like amecheza kwa club leo amecheza kesho tena nini unapata sana kuwa na ile mazoea ya hiyo mziki yako then kuna vile kanaingia deep umecheki so hata mwenyewe tu utapata tu day amekosa ku play wasa anasema ah DJ tuweke mziki fulani so tunataka ile ubest at least ikuje between the artists and the DJs at least bana eh industry grow then kuna issue nyingine pia imekuwa kwa industry uh, uh, promoters event promoters. organizers na wasanii kumekuwa na hiyo fight tena for long sana issue ni nini between you two people two groups of people <laughs> unajua <coughs> ini issue ambayo nimekuwa nikitamani sana kwa dress na nitatumia examples i'll mention okay. because bro <coughs> sisi tuko hapa kama mandugu yeah, yeah. na tuko hapa music sisi kama artists tuna hustle kulipia studio just like any other artist hiyo kama venye tu hiyo msanii mwingine atakuja kulikuwa na event hapa Bungoma ya msanii fulani ambaye ili flop yes and ili flop on the event mimi i was not supposed to perform okay. then it happened hiyo siku ya event saturday nikaambiwa ah nash utakaten raise una get trust me bro nilipatia watu over 18 reason ya kununua tickets na hiyo ni siku moja that means nikienda kuperform hata kama niko na audience ya watu wawili just give me like a small token of appreciation unaona yeah, yeah. because natumia dough kwenda studio 
ndio nikupatie quality music yenye mafans watapenda natumia do so ukitaka nikupulie crowd wewe kama promoter ama kama event organizer and you not willing to pay hiyo ni kama kuni kuni dalilisha mimi msani iskata hii i'm an upcoming artist and i have my audience too niko tuna audience yangu yenye bado inanitambua yenye inajua nasha naenda event acha ni try niende jua naenda hapo juu ya nash si ndio ya mtu mwingine una get yeah so event organizers sama siji the, the promoters hawa hawa hawaoni kama local talents ni talents zinafaa pia ziappreciatiwe una feel like hizo talents zenye zinafaa zikanya na ndio maana unapata wakati local artist ame make it in life ame amengangana peke yake amefika hapo juu wakati wewe promoter ambaye ulimdharau unampigia simu na mwambia na kuhitaji kwa show yangu anakuambia bei ama anakuambia ongea na manager utaanza kusema oh msanii ameanza kuwa na maringo ameanza kuwa na madharau ai kwangi madharau anakumbuka time alikuwa down hakuna mtu ali, ali aliona ni kama anafanya something but sasa juu amefika juu unahitaji msaada wake wakati alikuhitaji wewe haukumsaidia lakini time wewe unataka msaada wake unataka kusaidia una get lazima tu tusaidiane tujengane sio timi nikujenge au usinijenge unaona ya so unasema uh, promoters ni kama like they don't want to associate with your struggle but wanataka ku associate with your kuna, with your success kuna kuna kuna, kuna, kuna event organizer moja shaiambia msanii wapo Bungomati cheki enda utengeneze jina kama msanii wako msanii fulani mimi wasi work na watu wajatengeneza jina eh hey, na nilisikia nikiwa hapo hivyo hiyo hizo masiku siku hapo nishaanza nimeanza kuimba i felt bad i felt bad msanii kwambiwe eti wewe enda utengeneze jina kama na ni kwanza ndio rudi nikulipe kwa show yangu I felt uh, bad. Unajua, unajua I think hiki tu eh, artist wa, wasani wa BG mmekuwa serious a little bit. Ile yenye mmesema lazima mlipwe ndio. Lazima tulipwe. Mm -hmm. And unaona bro. Mm -hmm. I can like naweza sema hii bila uoga kwamba mimi ni moja kati ya watu ambao nili introduce hiyo slogan ya no, no payments, no performance. Yeah. Una get? Pia na depend na venye msame kwa approach. Easy brands ndogo zenye mnaona hizi izi brands zenye mnaona bado zina grow hizi izi brands zinahitaji ku grow zaidi na zaidi una get yeah. so ukisema eti brand ukifanyange tu kitu free 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 haiezi yeah. mimi ndo ni introduce slogan ya no cash kulikuwa na shaka million town i was supposed to perform nilikuwa kwa poster mimi na msanii fulani nilienda mpaka hapo hivyo and i refused ku perform hata siku kanyaga kwa hiyo nini yeah. una get nilikataa siezi perform juu hakuna venye huu kamili anatakuja alipwe mita alafu mimi juu mimi ni local artist atisifai nilipwe and trust me bro ukikompare ukikompare event ya chameleon na kuna event ambayo kije kuna boys wetu hapa bungoma ali organize na organize same same place una get ukikompare audience ilikuwa kwa event ya u boys unasikia na audience ilikuwa kwa show ya chameleon bro event ya u boys ilibeba watu wengi sana una get So pia sisi tuko na fan base hata kama sio kubwa sana na lazima tu tuappreciatiwe pia sisi tunatumia pesa tuna invest kwa hiyo music kwa art yetu pia ya so mimi na support sana sana na nimekuanga nikiwa support kitu ya kuperform ya, ya ni lazima ulipwe ndio fanye nini upande stage na ukicheki because mulikuwa serious the last uh, festive season mulikuwa serious na hiyo issue ulipata so many events zili flop yeah. Yeah. So ina maanisha nyinyi ndio mmebeba events. Mkikataa kuperform unapata event ina activity. Hakuna event vile na deliver. So nyinyi muendelee na hiyo kitu, muendelee na hiyo spirit. Then kuna hawa sani wenye like nyinyi mko serious mmekataa but kuna wale still wanapanda. So auski event ya Chameleon kuna hadi msanii alikuja akajitolea tia nilipe ni perform. Nikamwambia no, it doesn't work like that. There's no way utanilipa wewe ni msanii mwenzangu utanilipa ni perform utanilipa aje shwali aje na pia wewe inafaa ulipwe sasa wewe pesa zenyewe utapewa utagawana aje lakini alafu there's another issue ya nyamini nilikuwa nataka na feel like pick na five fiki ya event organizers na promoters unaona bro utapata msanii amechukua do nyingi amelipa msanii wa huko Nairobi msanii juu anaamini wasanii wazuri wanatoka Nairobi sio nyumbani then huo msanii anakuja baada anawaangusha a perform event in a flop una get hizo do kichukua ulipe local artists wata mobilize crowd wataleta yeah. crowd wata pull crowd trust me hata local artists wata pull crowd so hiyo mambo ya kuleta tunachoma <laughs> tunachoma by the way so hebu unaweza pia na pale message yako kwa ile event organizers unaweza ambia nini maze event organizers let's try to be serious na kitu tunafanya na tu the same way when i organize your event kupata do ni the same way who you local artist enough ukimuta kuperform umlipe pia apate do ndio 
apate tena pesa za kumpeleka studio kesho arekodi nyimbo nyingine au okay. aendelee ku entertain your crowd as an event organizer okay. yeah Safi sana tunaendelea pale na Gwiji Vibes na wao ni MC Nash. MC Nash, yeah. mazee hii Bungoma tuko na talent mob wasanii kuna wale wasanii wa big wa baya. Na we know you people are delivering na mnaendelea ku grow each and every time. No, ndio maana ma fans aitu mwanza at least na cheki kuna ile mkikuwa place at least kuna kuna vile ma fans wana accept wana sing along ma zenyu. Like juzi nimecheki basi la mepigia show fulani pale. Ma fans wamekubali. Hmm? So ndako nipatie at least list ya the five top artist. Msaki kwambia mention five artist when you nezaenda nao hata kwa show sasa hii. Uta mention kina nani from number 1 to 5? Uh, bro, sisi sema ni top artists but mimi wasanii wa Nyamina feel wanafanya kazi mzuri. Okay. Na wanahitaji ku appreciated. Unajua unajua bro, uki appreciate wa wakati unafanya kitu it's such a humbling feeling. Una feel humble wakati msana ku appreciate appreciation to ambia tu mseme yenyewe manzee whatever you doing ni kazi fiti so sisi sema ti maybe ni top ama ni wa, ni naweza sema wasanii wa nyamini wana wanafanya kazi fiti naweza anza na naweza sema jubal okay. number one, jubal is doing kazi fiti sana sit nisijeke kwa hiyo list mali popote sijeki mali popote but mimi na eh siko kwa siko kuanzia number 1 paka 5 okay tuendelee tumesema nitaje kuanzia number 1 paka 5 eh sasa mimi siko hapa kuanzia 1 paka 5 na siko 5 kuendelea huko niko 1 kurudi huku huko zero so mimi niko hapo zero ya basil vishindo anafanya kazi fiti ah kuna dem mwenye i wish watu wapate nafasi ya kumsikia kuna dem anaitwa Darin Wambani okay Udem, i think inafaa watu wapate nafasi ya kumsikiza inafaa kuje gwiji vibes inafaa kuje gwiji vibes mpige uh, wase story huyu mm. inafaa sikizwe Darin Wambani au ni watatu mm. um, eh wasanii wako wapi wasanii wako wapi unamjua eh wasanii wako wapi wasanii wako basi eh, meluna meluna iko hapo hivyo alafu tuko na Chris Kanya pia Chris Kanya anafanya kazi fiti sana ya ya safi sana usha mention wako watano na tunasema iko sawa sana ama vipi okay hii ni Gwiji vibes tuendelee vile nafaa ama vipi magwiji na kama hujapiga subscription mazee piga gonga ile kengele piga subscription piga share achia comment yako na sisi tunazidi ku grow ama vipi MC Nash unajua kumekuwa na ile issue pale wewe by wasanii ati umefocus kwa mziki sana hadi upigi hustle inakuwaje unajua wewe we ni one of the artist mwenye unapiga mziki then kuna hustle pia unapiga Hebu yeah. mbona wasanii wengine hawapigi mziki na wanapiga tu mziki peke yake hustle hawapigi. Unajua kitu nimekuambia na nitasema na nitasema mara a thousand a million times kwamba music ni kama business nyingine yoyote. Music inahitaji do. Okay. Una get? Na ndio maana mimi siko itaka ku launch my music career kama siko ready, siko prepared. Okay. Music nitaka we invest kwa music so lazima kuwe na side hustle of, of course hakuna mtu anamkaga leo anaingia studio na recording ngoma na ana hit it's a process it's a journey yeah, 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 yeah. it's a journey journey yenye iko na pain mm-hmm. lazima ku persist inahitaji persistence hard work yeah. sacrifice push push your brand na uwezi push brand yako bila do yeah, yeah. na do zinatoka wapi kwa side hustle lazima kuwe na hustle yeah, yeah mimi that's what i can say hebu unaweza chapi wase pale home side hustle yako ni gani Eh unajua sasa umekutambua tu sana na mziki na WMC alafu kuna pale stylist kidogo bwana ibu apatie tupige story nayo MC Nash is also a stylist nikisema stylist na deal na mambo na beauty and uh, beauty ukitaka haircut hair color green yellow maroon blue red white yeah. nini nini you can holla at me or you can check my instagram page at uh, nash the stylist Ya yeah, natengeneza watu makucha wasichana wasichana wenye <laughs> natengenezea makucha na wamasaji. <laughs> yeah that's what I do. Ah uh, tunafika hapo kwa masaji ukafurahi sana. Si napenda kufanya kazi yangu. Like when there's nothing more fulfilling like doing what you love. So <laughs> Yeah so hiyo ndio kazi yangu mimi ufanya. Tunafanya pale amenda cuts. Amenda cuts ni umbrella ambayo imebeba MC Nash. Okay. MC Nash imebeba Starbase TV na ni umbrella bado imebeba Nash the stylist. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, Umetaja ume pale Starbase TV. Starbase TV ilikuwa inachapa vitu vingine classic na piga pale ma interview. Kuliendaje mazee ukanyamazia nayo? Starbase TV iko. 
and uh, itarudi bigger and better unajua inahitaji pia to invest kwa established tv yeah, okay. na lazima tu jipange okay. so tulienda tuka, tunajipanga mm-hmm. charudi bigger and better okay, yeah okay. tuna set up studio yeah iko sawa sana unajua gwiji vibes pia tukiona established ma bro zetu wako yeah. pale at least wanatupata ile psych bana ya ku grow so my fans wangoje si ndio wangoje tuna set up studio tamalizia okay. then yeah itakuwa ready unaweza ambia wasee pale eh, about amenda card si inapatikana wapi na wanaweza wanaweza taka services gani pia zingine apart from hizo zenye you mention uh, amenda card we are located along Bungoma Mumias road opposite Mississippi Plaza like 100 meters from St. Domiano Medical Center okay ya yeah, sio mbali sana na town and uh, tunafanya manicure, pedicure, facial scrub, uh, makeup, uh, braiding, weaving, dreadlocks retouch, okay. uh, hair colors, mm-hmm. everything mambo na beauty. Okay. Just hala at Amenda Cuts. Or oh, you can follow our page on Instagram at uh, Amenda Cuts. Ivo tu ni Amenda Cuts, Amenda Cuts, Amenda Cuts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, simple to you, yeah. Safi sana. Na eh, eh, we MC Nash. Yeah. Wewe job yenu unafanya una deal na beauty na beauty na watu wengi wenye unakutana nao kwa graoni madem ukisema tu beauty mind ya msake tu unakuja kwanza ni madem na wewe wewe msinash bana kitu umejulikana nao sana pia ni madem demo au kai au kai au kai msinash au tulina dem since wasio wa kutukujue tumekuona si huyu si brown skin si dark skin Yaani umecheza na Melanie, umecheza na <laughs> na chocolate, umecheza na nini? Unajua unajua bro, mm-hmm. bro relationship mm-hmm. sio kitu ya kubahatisha. Okay. Na the moment umeingia kwa relationship na ukapata maybe your dreams the different na dreams za your partner kitu unataka ku achieve your goal, ultimate goal yako ni tofauti na yeye, utapata vitu hazita work, trust me. And uh, mimi mimi huwa si jump from relationship to another, another relationship. Mm-hmm. Mimi 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 no party am to time i think kama na feel like tutakuwa comfortable na eh mm-hmm. yeah ama hapana okay. yeah so umepatia time wengi mm hapana <laughs> mimi unajua alafu kitu moja ni mimi sijiwangi ku date watu wawili ama watatu mimi najiwanga ku date mtu mmoja pekee so ume date mmoja 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 kama haita haita work how many girls ume date so far eh <laughs> ni watatu watatu yeah so far uh, can we count yeah sure but to see what I imagine that is what I imagine we never talk about it we never talk about it we never talk about it just like that okay okay i'm not at liberty to talk about it at the moment you kila msana hitaji privacy yeah kila mtu anahitaji privacy and uh, Yeah, au twezi enda tunataja majina watu. Na bewa kata mtimua. nimekuwa kwa round zangu hapa. Baada kuna story pia ilitokea mm. before niende kwa hiso nilikuwa nataka kuuliza. Mm. Ati ulikuwa ulikuwa na mamazi before uende naye umesema kuna time umeenda naye. Mm-hmm. Then ukaacha mamazi kejani, ukaenda naye. Ukakaka uko kurudi ukapata mamazi bwana alishaoa bwana mando <laughs> mengine kwa kejani. <laughs> Yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. yeah, shit happens bro, shit happens. A lot of things zio happen. Na lazima tukue prepared. Yo, yo, yo stuff by the way ni break. Yo, by the end your heartbreak ilikuwa yangu ya kwanza. <laughs> Guys, mimi sikuwa sikuwa pigwa na heartbreak. <laughs> Msee, that was a hey, first ever heartbreak. Yo ndio ilikuwa heartbreak yangu ya kwanza kabisa. <laughs> ilikuwa strong. It was strong. strong. <laughs> eh, hey, unakumbuka? <laughs> ilikuwa strong sana. So, uh it was a very bad experience <laughs> usilie hapa usilie hapa <laughs> <laughs> i ona mimi squeeze mimi i'm um one hell like one hell of a person mwenye niko free spirit vibaya so mimi hata size ni ni venye tuko interview vivi nipigie simu niambie ni aje nash mama wako kwa tu mangana mengia lojo na boy plan so i let them have fun yeah what to have fun yeah hiyo kitu like nililala nilinifunza ili nifunza vitu mob sana usiyeeka akili yako mahali na ivo tu like Yeah. Ah, iko sawa. Yeye alikupiga lesson. Hey, ukajua kwa noma. Ilikuwa <laughs> noma sana. Yaani unaachwa kila mtu anajua uliachwa bana. Nisha kwa ina serious relationship. Okay, unajua mimi bro, mimi ni mtu na respect mwanamke yote. And that's why mimi nilikwambia as an artist, I will always sing for that beautiful woman. Mimi niko na respect kwa kila mwanamke because mimi I was raised na single mother. So niko na reason, niko na 
a million reasons za ku respect kila mwanamke na ku respect decision ya kila mwanamke that's why kama haita work umeniambia hey na haita work nita have ku respect uh, your decision because a girl's decision is what a gentleman ought to respect okay. yeah and i'm a gentleman <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah so mc nash yeah. by the way nimekuwa katika kwa story stories za hapa hivi nimesikia eh, kuna pale sitaki nikuambie ni wapi lakini eh, kuna story nimesikia umenyang'anywa na mamas umenyang'anywa oh, mamas na one of the nani. people in the industry msanii mmoja kwa industry na ni comedian mama mgani wewe? Awe kunyang'anya mamazi kwa industry. Comedian. Yeah. Mgani wewe? Isa comedian? Alinyang'anya liniga. Ni 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 lini <laughs> ndio nijue kama Okay, hii story nimesikia few days ago na inasemekana kuwa huyu mama yuko kwa inchi, ayuko Kenya. But huyu mamazi wewe una claim ni wako? Na yeye anasema, "Wacha ni wacha tuende tu direct straight to the point." O jamani wa Bondeni Ads, the CEO of Bondeni Ads anaitwa Nash. Mm-hmm. Eh, inasemekana kuwa Nash amekunyang'anya mrembo. Oh. Yeah. Mimi sinyang'anywangi mrembo. Okay. Sinyang'anywangi mrembo. Kuku... Ni 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 ni. Ah, nikuonyeshe chat zangu na huyo demo. <laughs> Tuvunje mtu. Unaweza tuonesha. Ah, nikuonyeshe chat zangu na huyo demo. Anyway, but sinyang'anywangi demo. Sisi sema mtu unyang'anywa demo. Mimi tunaweza okay. sema ni demo aliona a better person mm-hmm. in that guy. Okay. Na ka feel like um say honey deserve na shani deserve mm-hmm. so akamwa ah. but mimi alafu history mimi hata sikuwa najua kama na date with them in the first place wakati alienda juu the last time i checked we were not dating wakati ali travel okay. only kupatana na huyo boys umeniambia wao si bondeni arts mm-hmm. ananiambia eti na unajua dem flani kwanza tulipatana na yeye town so ni kitu unajua pia eh nikamwambia ya ya tulipatana na yeye town and i and i think i'll not talk about this kwa interview nyingine because I'm tired of answering this question. Hadi kwa wimbo nimesikia nimetajwa na huyo demo when but ni sawa. So huyo msa kanuza unajua demo flani kaambia ya. Akaniambia ah tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye juzi akaniambia ni girlfriend yake. Akaniambia nope tuliachana. Then to next anyway ni story nyingi za udaku udaku za mwashane za watu watoto wadogo ambazo sitaki kuongelea. So kama wanasema walinyang'anya dem basi basi wanachukulia wana, wana understand kunyang'anya mtu dem in a different perspective okay. yeah i respected myself enough to distance myself from them okay. so so inamaanisha mlikuwa mshaachana yeah. uh, uh, shona kimchuko wakati ali travel tulikuwa tushaachana okay. i think ingekuwa fit kama but sitaki sispendi kuweka vitu zingine public okay. juu shona atakasirika bado okay. eh, juu hata okay hata nikikuonyesha chat zangu na odem za juzi <laughs> zitakuambia zitakuonyesha ako wapi okay. yes but sitaki kufanya hivyo okay. yeah so unasema aku mlikuwa mshaachana ndio yeah. okay iko sawa pia yeah. muhimu sana na eh, pia umekuwa na mamazi mwingine hapa i think sai wewe tutaongea about relationship zako sana na before after huyo umekuwa na mtotozi mwingine hapa mkasumbua mtandao tunaona mtotozi anapiga lebo zako nini 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 E, baadaye anakuja oh sijui waliachana tunaona mtotozi pia amejam nini ma feelings wewe mwenyewe ukiulizwa shida nini unasema oh wasemu na nichomea relationship zangu mnachoma kuliendaje Nash MC Nash ni mtu social uh-huh. MC Nash ni mtu anapiga story na kila mtu na ukiangalia circle yangu kubwa sana ni madem because mimi kazi yangu ina involve madem okay. sana pakubwa sana tukiangalia uh, page yangu ya Nash the stylist uh-huh. Mimi udeal na madem sana so mabeshi wangu wengi ni madem. Mm-hmm. Watu 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 uni misjudge. Okay. Watu fikiria maybe juu nafanya kazi ya ina deal na madem sana watu wana maybe. So the moment tunaanza ku date mimi 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 hata niseme tukidate usini post. Usini post. <laughs> Ukiniposta ukini post, utakuwa umetaka kuniacha. Kake usini post. Juu utakuwa tu umetafuta umetafuta tu reason ya kuniacha man. Okay, tukidate usini post aki <laughs> juu uh, utakuwa unatafuta reason kama unataka tu kuniacha niambie tu nash tuachane lakini kunipost ni reason moja safi ya kuniacha juu taarifa ambazo utapewa mm. eh taarifa ambazo utapewa nazo kidogo mm. azita kupatia peace na sio taarifa za ukweli of course yeah. the, 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 the reason why like tuseme in the last six month umekuwa umebadilisha madem kama wanne hivi i think asijabadilisha madem wanne eh. Ona mimi tangu 2019 ilikuwa kwa relationship serious after 2019 ilikuja mpaka 2020 ndio nika date. Okay. Haikuwa tena 2022 ndio mm-hmm. nimedate tena. Yeah. yeah. So sasa hiyo you are in a relationship. 
Sasa hizi I'm in a very serious relationship. <laughs> I'm chasing money. Uko sure itaisha hiyo. Niko kwa relationship manze na do na tafuta pesa man. I'm looking for money. Safi sana. Yo magwiji pale ni Gwiji Vibes tunaendelea na MC Nash na tuendelee kufanya vitu vile inafaa. Piga subscription pale, piga comment. Ah, na uta tra grow pamoja ama vipi? Yo Gwiji Vibes kabla tu kafunge wacha MC Nash apatie. MC Nash, hebu bongesha wase pale home, upate last advice kwa uko na maneno unataka kuchapia mafans wako pale nje. Ah, waambie bana. Mimi si advice wasani mara hii wasani tume advice wa sana 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 and i feel like kila time mtu akipewa nafasi eti ana advice you upcoming artist mimi nita advice my fans wetu okay. if you know like hautaki ku support mseye hautaki ku support music ya mtu ama hautaki ku support artist wachana na yeye i'm just struggle sawa wasani wanapitia by the way kama kuna watu wako wanateseka ni wasani so kama unajua uwezi msupport wachana tu na yeye wacha kuongea vibaya kumhusu wacha tu wacha achana tunaempatie tu pisa push vitu zake siku moja goda akisema ni sawa ni sawa but mpatie tu time yake ya push vitu zake ya vitu zake zitago sawa and then maybe unataka kuni follow pale social media MC Nash Nash the stylist Starbase TV na Amenda Cuts Facebook Instagram and Twitter hivyo tu simple Yo magwiji hivyo ndo nakafunga kwa Gwiji Vibes nimekuwa host wako Boss Boy Creation. Tukutane tena kwa show next bana.